Okay, welcome to part two um, of the trumpeter build for the BF109K4. Um, I've just gotten started, so this is the very first few parts that I've started to assemble. Uh, and I just take, thought I'd take an opportunity here to explain some of the parts that I'm building. So here we are on page, the first page of the assembly instructions. And this is the part that I've started to work on now. It's in the cockpit, and I just thought I'd explain what this this part here is. So here we have it. This is the assembled piece, as you can see here. Two pieces have gone together to form the whole, and then we have a series of small parts here that I've just got lined up here, which are yet to be put together. So what is this part? Actually, well, this is the the uh, part of the weaponry of the 109 from, I believe, the F series, or the F model onwards. They successfully introduced a centrally mounted cannon, um, which sat right smack bang in the middle of the uh, the the uh, the engine, the DB605 engine, which drove this thing. So this is a cannon, I'll use this to point rather than my finger, um, that sat centrally. Now, let's have a look at some historical material. I'm just going to be referring to this book here. A uh, fantastic book, Owner's Workshop Manual for the BF-109 from 1935 onwards, all marks, produced by Haynes. Uh, as you can see, oh, there's quite a bit of detail in this book. Now I've got the, the relevant page here. So the bit that I'm assembling, let's see if we can do this, is this part here. Now as explained in the, the figure caption, it's a 30 millimeter Rheinmetall Borsig MK108 cannon. Um, as it says there, it was potentially one of the most destructive weapons fitted to German fighters during the Second World War. Now, if we go to the text, we can see here the relevant section. Uh, the final major production series of the 109, the BF-109K, and particularly the K4, which is what we're building, also had the MK-108 30mm cannon for the centrally located so-called engine mounted position plus the usual pair of MG-131 30mm machine guns in the upper forward fuselage, we'll get to those later. So this was a pretty hard hitting um, cannon which was centrally mounted in the, uh, the machine right through the engine and fired right through the engine nose. So we can see here on the front um, of the of the book it was through here and as you can see this is the tip of the cannon and it fired through there. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a bit of an information um, on that particular part of the model. Okay, until next time.